In this video, I'll be going over my Zorx Salazzle deck list and my most recent cup with the deck. So here we go. Hey, 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 this is Seagrove, and if you are new here, consider subscribing. We're all about growth and improvement in the game. Let's get into this deck. This is Zork Salazzle. I just took it to a cup. Um, did okay. And yeah, so obviously ditto just for being able to evolve into Zork or Salazzle. Very good. 4-4 four, four Zork. Consistent. Powerful. 4-4 um, Salazzle. Salandit. 3 Salazzle and uh, Salazzle GX. Um, the bait. Excuse me, the baby Salazzle is really the crux of the deck. It uh, poisons and burns, so effectively adds 30 damage um, to Zorak's attack. Um, so it'd be like 120 with a Choice Band, it wouldn't be 150. With the Salazzle, that's 180. With Devour Field, that's 190. With the Kukui, that's 210. So pretty good. Um, and Zorak just lets you hit those pieces that you need. Um, the baby Salandit actually can one shot like Decidueye, the old Solgaleo GX, um, Dustman. Necrozma, uh, because they're weak to fire, and he does 20 plus 40 more if they're poisoned. So if you hot poison them, um, he does 60, and you put on a choice band that's 90, you kukui, that's 110, doubled for weaknesses, 220, plus poison burns, 250. Um, and then Salazzle GX, obviously just really strong late game, um, or, and it came in handy early game for one of my matches as well. Uh, Coco's in there for the Night March, or Lost March rather. Um, with a, a hot poison and a flying flip, you one shot a jump bluff while doing 20 to their Natsus, and then um, play a stretcher so you can get it back. And then you can also Kukui uh, flying flip to one shot their jump bluff and spread. So um, if you start it, it's really, I mean, you can knock out a jump bluff or whatever, skip, I don't know, the baby one. Um, yeah, and hop it. That's what it's called, hop it. And then I have two Tabu Lele, obvious reasons. One max potion just to heal. Um, four max potion actually didn't do that much for me. Uh, a lot of Blacephalon and those type of decks, like one shot decks today. Um, Lost March stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Um, four nest ball. I I chose to go nest ball instead of lilies. Um, uh, instead of um, the other one I. Uh, Professor Elm, I really enjoy Lily and um, Salazzle has 70 HP. So there's that, obviously. Uh, four Super Scoop Up, just to pick stuff up. Um, three Timer, really want to find those Zoroarks early and Salazzles as needed. Uh, four Ultra Wall, three Devour Field, great for bumping stadiums, plus the 10 damage is really good. Like if I even just get like a, a Devour Field and a Choice Band. Um, that makes 160, and then I can Kukui for 180, or I can Hot Poison for 190. Um, Acerola healing. Acerola was pretty good. Used it a couple times. Um, Cynthia is drawing to only two, and a Judge, and a Lily. Um, there was one time where I wanted Cynthia and didn't have it. Um, three Guzma, which was it's a fine count. You just got to be careful. Um, one Lily. I said two Kukui, I said three choice, four DCE and three fire. I was playing three fire and one um, rainbow, but I ended up dropping the rainbow. So went into, and, and the fire's for Salazzle, either one, but typically the GX. Um, round one, I played against my really good friend, uh, Guy bennett and he was playing i shouldn't i'm gonna try not to name names actually uh, and he was playing uh lost march and he just didn't draw that well um i won on like turn three round two i played against um well the round two i played against Pissimian, which is a bad matchup for me and i drew poorly so that was rough and I lost. And then round three, I played against a lightning deck. Uh, I think the only guy I'd only been playing since Lost Thunder came out just wasn't um, as experienced. And his deck didn't run super well. But um, yeah, it wasn't too tough for me. And then round four, 
Uh, I played against Buzz, um, Nine Tails, and I feel like there's something else in there. Anyways, Buzz and Nine Tails, and um, he went started GX and started jet punching early, and I two shotted his GX with a Lele. I I knocked it out with Lele if I remember correctly. Um, but I hit it originally with, I don't remember what, maybe it's a Zork. Maybe I just two shot it with Zork. Uh, he jet punched me twice and then, um, he brought out another one and one shot it. Oh no, I hit it with Zork and then I knocked it out with Lele. That's what it was. And then he one shot in my Lele. I brought out Zork, got the 190, one shot it with Zork and then he just scooped. Um, I don't think it was over, but it was, I was likely to win. Um, really cool guy as well. Um, cool local guy. Uh, a friend. I have played him maybe three times. So, yeah. Then, round five, I played against Zork Decidueye. And he offered the ID. And I was like, no, I think we should play. So we play. And he keep he forgot to Feather Arrow like five times. Um, and like, like maybe th four, three turns or something. And two of those turns, he had uh, two feather arrows to do. And then um, it came down to I, I, I guess I ultra balled a Guzma that I didn't realize I ultra balled or traded it. Um, so I knew I had traded one, and I was so confident I didn't even check. Um, but apparently I had discarded two, and then so I Guzma. Um, but I had determined that my other one was prized, so it didn't really matter because I was playing as if I didn't have access to it. But it was actually my discard. Um, so I, I uh, we're trading back and forth, healing, ace rolling, and stuff like that. Um, he hits me, I heal. I hit him, he heals. Or I hit him, he heals. He hits me, I heal. I hit him. He retreats and attacks. I Guzma knock out. He knocks out. It was just trading just Zoroarks. And then um, he brought up another Zorark, hit me, and then I got the full combo in 210 to one shot his Zorark. Then he brought up Nine Tails, and he just kept attacking and retreating and attacking and retreating. And eventually, and I didn't have a Guzma, so I was just hitting and retreating myself. Uh, no, I, I did. Have to retreat. He wasn't. He was just attaching and retreating because he was pulling up a nine tails because uh, he knew I couldn't one shot it. And so I just do like one twenty or whatever, one thirty, um, one ten. I get no one thirty. Yeah, because I think it was choice band and um, yeah. So one thirty. Kept doing one thirty, one thirty, one thirty, and then eventually it went to time. I was gonna deck out eventually so I was kind of glad when they called time um, but then he put down a, a Yvettel and I was like oh no he can actually win so I judged retreated and passed and then he brought out the Yvettel and he had already brought out the Yvettel because um, he retreated into it because if he hadn't retreated into it then uh, I would have knocked out his Pokemon, um, and he he had to keep attaching to retreat. So he retreats into it, and then I just retreat into Salazzle, so baby Salazzle, so he can knock it out unless he finds a Guzma, which he didn't. Um, and then I it was just a tie. So we tied. So we both had to win the next round, um, and I was against my friend, uh, and I beat him as well, um, and. But he was playing spread, like Honchkrow, Coco, and uh, I spread a lot of damage. Or he spread a lot of damage, but I hit three out of four scoop-ups. And Acerola'd, and Max Potioned, and um, it was... I drew really well, too. I got Salazzle out early. I only played down one Zork just to draw. Like I kept a bunch of Zoru on bench, but just played uh, one Zork um, at first. Until I had like one prize left, or I was about to take my second. I was about to go down to one prize. Then I put down like three Zoroarks, 
and then um, knocked out. But getting the early Salazzle, like double fire energy on it, was really lucky as well. So I feel like I drew super well. Uh, but it's a very favorable matchup. Then I went to top eight. In top eight, I played against uh, another friend, and he was playing Blacephalon, and both games turn two. I whiff DCE, which really hurt. Um, and I was just attacked behind on the first game because of that. But the second game, he whiffed as well. So I actually would have won. Um, I was like counting my calculating my damage. Like, okay, I've got the knockout on the Ganadel, so I'm just gonna trade and see what I get. So I trade everything. I'm like, cool, I can knock out the Ganadel. So I, I Guzma it, and um, and I say Rice beating for knockout. Go to draw my prize. He's like, wait, that's not a knockout. And I realized I forgot to bump the stadium after I traded uh, for my plus ten damage. So I that lost me the game. Um, game two. So if I had drawn better game one or game two, like if I had gotten the knockout the first turn on turn two on game two, I also would have won. But I it was it was still in my hands. I just misplayed. Um, game two so that was on me it's pretty disappointing uh Placephalon is a is pretty tough but it's definitely winnable because um you can you can one shot three Placephalon without too much trouble um so like on the last game because i messed up at the very end i i, I guzman and Naganadel and knocked it out because i knew he had to have a Guzma, a Fire, um, but if I just attacked, he just had to have a Fire. So, no, if I just attacked, he just knocked me out. So I Guzma and knocked out, but um, ended up he ended up having it and he beat me. So he played well, but it was kind of disappointing to lose. Um, sad that I misplayed, but I, obviously it was my fault. So. Yeah, but I just wanted to play this deck. It's my favorite deck. I had a lot of fun playing it. Um, I think it loses a lot in uh, Team Up just because it can no longer one-shot. So I have to find new ways to one-shot that are fun. Because um, that's what I enjoy. But thanks for watching, and peace out.